Ladies and gentlemen. Recently, we see some games announcing or already released their collaboration event. Blue Archive just launched their collab with Hatsune Miku. PGR will get their Near Automata collab soon. And Alchemy Stars who just have a collab with Dragon Maid. Recently announced their next collaboration with Persona 5. With all of this collab news, I can't help but wonder, what about Arknights? As most of you already know, Arknights announced their next collaboration in the third anniversary celebration. This time is yet with another big game company, Capcom. The first collab event with R6 is I think one the best collab event in gacha game history. Not only that R6 have a lot of similarities with Arknights. Hyper GIF also brings a touching story for the event. That made the collab and in-game characters looks awesome. The collab characters are useful in gameplay, not just a collection kind of thing. And still have their extra story added to the game, even when their collab event have long gone. The next Dark Knight CN event is undoubtedly a summer event. Usually game company make some sort of announcement during that time. And not to mention that Arc Knights Global will attending Anime Expo on July. So perhaps we will get new info for the Arc Knights collaboration with Capcom. But in the meantime, it will be a great and fun idea. To see which Capcom's game that will most likely come to Arc Knights. So without further ado. Here's my pick of Capcom's game that are suitable to collab with Arc Knights. Let's start with what I think is the community favorite. Devil May Cry. Devil May Cry or DMC for short, is an action hack and slash game. DMC is a very popular game with fun gameplay and interesting characters. Centered around Dante, a legendary devil hunter and a pizza lover. Doing his job as a devil hunter using wide variety of weapons. Besides him, there are also other characters such as Lucia, Trish, Lady, Nero, and of course, his brother Virgil, from the special edition series. The character while mostly looks silly or absurd on the surface, they have a rather deep and interesting background. By looking at the previous collab, we can have at least 4 collab characters. I can see Dante and Virgil be a 6 stars. Maybe the other 5 stars can be Nero and V. Or maybe Trish and Lady. For the story though, I can't really imagine the story for DMC collab. But well if they can make another dimension portal for R6, DMC shouldn't be much of a problem. Maybe the story will center around Dante mingled with the Sarkaz people. Or maybe Hypergriff will take the collab to explore the uncharted area of Terra. Where it is said to be inhabited by dangerous monsters, or Elrich demons. Overall if they really did a collab with DMC, I will be very excited and motivated. And hopefully Lapland will make her appearance here. Next one on the list is, Monster Hunter. Capcom's second best selling franchise. The hype for Monster Hunter collab is quite big in the Arknights community as many see the potential for Monster Hunter to get into Arknights. Especially in the latest CN event, Kerura, got her new skin. People speculated that the game shown on her monitor is Monster Hunter. But it can be anything since the image is blurry. But well, hope I'm right. Moving on to why I think Monster Hunter is suitable to collab with Arknights. As the name suggests, Monster Hunter is an action RPG where the player takes the role of a hunter. Where you slay various unique and badass monster. To gain their loot, and become more stronger to face even more dangerous foe. Though Monster Hunter isn't a series known for its narratives, story, or compelling characters. But I think with the collab, it will be a great event to explore more about the wildlife, or beast of terror. Especially the one that is on the land that don't have many spotlight. As we already know how dangerous the sea monsters can be. Or maybe we can learn more about the uncharted areas in Terra. Especially since Monster Hunter is about exploration to the unknown, and of course fighting monsters. Maybe the hunter or the monsters will enter the world of Arknights, like that one Monster Hunter movie. 
and Rhodes Island will have to work together with the hunters to hunt those monsters down. Now when talking about characters. As far as I know, besides the hunter who is the player and customizable character, the other characters in Monster Hunter are usually called by their occupation. While some of them are quite memorable. But it is perhaps tricky to add them as an operator in Arknights. And by the way, there's actually someone who made a concept trailer for Monster Hunter collab. It's a very great concept, that gives you the idea of what Monster Hunter collab will look like. Also, the reason why Arknights might collab with Monster Hunter, is because the expansion for Monster Hunter Rise, Sunbreak, is scheduled to be released at the end of June, or early July. So maybe Hypergriff will take their chance to collab with Monster Hunter because of that. Last one is what I think the most suitable to have a collaboration with. Resident Evil. Resident Evil is a horror zombie shooter game. And is Capcom best selling franchise. And even the best selling horror game franchise of all time. It's undoubtedly a popular game. And I don't know the price will Capcom offer for a collab. But definitely it's going to be an expensive one. But putting those aside. Let's talk about why Resident Evil is suitable for the collab. Resident Evil has a deep lore to its franchise. The rich story and lore is very similar to Ark Knight's world. The main disasters in the world of Resident Evil is because of a mutagen's outbreak. That transform people into zombies and mutates to a more horrifying things. With each new game, Capcom deliver more type of enemies that are not only from that mutagen but also from some sort of ancient parasite, and fungi. This, is more or less similar like Ark Knight's world. While Oripathy won't make people into zombies. But we have seen something similar with Mephisto Art's technique. He can use his arts to an infected, manipulating and accelerates their Oripathy growth. And then reanimate them as a mindless possessed, controlled by Mephisto. In Undertide's event, the sea monsters can mess up the human mind. Because they ate a food that is secretly mixed with engines. And even in the R6 collab, we already have something similar. There's a lot more character option to choose than the previous two I mentioned. But my best pick will be Chris, Leon, and Ada. Also, because of the upcoming Resident Evil 4 remake, and Resident Evil 8 DLC. It just convinced me even more that Ark Knights will get a collab with Resident Evil. Well, let's just hope Hypergriff can pull this off. Though I'm no expert, but perhaps collaboration is a risky thing to do. With Hypergriff need to fulfill the player expectations. While also gaining profit from the collab. Well let's just hope for the best. While I think those three are the most suitable. But I'm also excited if they collab with other Capcom's game. That should be all. Adios.